Today, let's look into the major international effort for the conservation of wetlands, the Ramsar Convention. The Ramsar Convention is also called as Convention on Wetlands. It was signed in the Iranian city of Ramsar in the year 1971. The Secretary of Ramsar Convention is located in Glan, a city in Switzerland. The convention acts as the only intergovernmental treaty which provides the framework for national action and international cooperation for the conservation and wise use of wetlands and their resources. The convention stands on three core principles. Firstly, to work towards the wise use of all the wetlands included in the Ramsar list. Secondly, to designate suitable wetlands for Ramsar list and also ensure their effective management. And finally, cooperating internationally on transboundary wetlands, shared wetland system and shared species. India became a party to this convention in the year 1982. The UK has the highest Ramsar sites in the world. India, as of this point in time, has 49 Ramsar sites, while the state of UP has the highest Ramsar sites in India at 10. First Ramsar sites suggested by India under this convention were Chilika Lake and Kiyolodiyo National Park. The latest additions to this convention include Kijadia Wildlife Sanctuary and Bakira Wildlife Sanctuary. The convention also maintains a record called Montu Record to identify wetlands facing severe stress. Lokak Lake and Kiyolodiyo National Park are included under this. Apart from this convention, wetlands can be protected at the international level under the UNESCO's World Heritage Convention and the UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Program. Other organizations involved in the conservation of wetlands include BirdLife International, IUCN, International Water Management Institute, Wetlands International and World Wildlife Fund. Every year, February 2nd is celebrated as World Wetlands Day to create more awareness. This year's theme is Wetlands Actions for People and Nature. Emphasis on sustained and collaborative efforts at all levels is crucial for the conservation of this rich and crucial ecosystem.